Welcome to this Debaco University video. Here we're going to be looking at sexing cannabis seedlings. So you grow um, plants from seeds that are dioecious, where they could be male or female. How do you determine whether you have a male plant or a female plant? Because a lot of times I could determine if you're looking for cannabinoids, whether you want to keep that plant or discard that plant. So here, follow along with this video. All right, let's get into some of the methods here. So first off, there are two main options. One, there's gender detection screening using the PCR method or polymerase chain reaction method, or there's the quick cone, clone and flip method. So both of these had advantages and disadvantages. I'm gonna cover both of these here briefly, giving you the pros and cons, and then you can make a decision on which one you think is the best fit for your growing environment. So first off, using the gender detection screening or PCR method, the advantage of this method is very accurate. It also offers very quick results and can be done early in plant development. So we're actually looking at screening some of the genetics of that plant to determine whether it's male or female. It can be done basically at the very early seedling stages. So again, a lot of advantages with this method. The reason why everyone does not use this method is simply because of some of the key disadvantages. The first being, of course, that it is costly uh, for the equipment to use, to set up. Uh, it has to be kind of a um, lot of equipment that's needed, a lot of upfront cost associated with that. Also requires individually testing each plant material, so organization and labeling are also very important. And when I say organization, we're looking at, at the, using these very small PCR tubes to be able to analyze samples. The specialized equipment is needed or material needs to be sent off to site to a lab, which again uh, might be prohibitive for certain uh, growing establishments. So if you look at the other method, the clone and flip method, the advantage to this one, and a big advantage, that's very easy. The results are clear and distinctive. Uh, female clones could be provided an early indication of chemical end products uh, to be pr produced. And what this simply involves is taking vegetative cuttings from a plant and putting them into a cloner, typically taking up a small space, and putting them under a flowering light period. So this can induce flowering at a very early age, and that can determine one, either you have a male or female plant. If it's a female, you could keep it going for a little bit longer and maybe get some sort of idea of the chemical end products for that clone that it matches, that mother or stock plant that it matches. However, there are also some disadvantages with this method, as it cannot be done with auto flowers. And this does require labeling and a dedicated space for a 12, 12, um, hour, 12 hours light, 12 hours dark photo period. And it does take much longer to get results than with the PCR method. So again, each has its pros and cons, its advantages and disadvantages. So you might want to review these and then check out this channel for continuing videos going into details on whatever step or process you think is the best fit for your growing establishment.